And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's another beautiful, what is it, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, it's Wednesday afternoon, May 4th. And I wanted to wait till after the Fed meeting. In fact, the Fed meeting just ended and yes, major impacts for the market today. And what I want to go over today is what it means for the short term and even the longer term uh, for Bitcoin price target, some of the altcoins, and even cover traditional markets today. And we'll kind of look at, hey, whether we should be bullish or bearish. Um, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button. It'll help out the channel. And so um, what are we getting news today? The Fed raised rates by a half a percent, and they are not considering doing it by 0.75%. So the markets like when the Fed does exactly what they said they were going to do. So they already priced in some of that downside uh, to the market. And um, now we're playing out a bit of a relief rally, it looks like, and starting out with Bitcoin here on the daily time frame. And you can see this ascending triangle is going to break out today uh, with any kind of a closure. I'd say um, really we want it above 40,075 on CMEs, and that would be good for confirming uh, one, two, three drives of hidden bullish divergence from this point. We're making three higher lows, and on RSI, we're making three lower lows. So that alongside volatility expansion from a very low level could give us a move um, you know, to the tune of 20%. And what would that look like actually today uh, from the bottom to 20% would get us you know, somewhere up around 44,500. And any kind of a daily closure back above 44,500. And that's where I would officially call this a bull trap or sorry, a bear trap. And um, I would look for Bitcoin to head up towards that you know, 50 to 50, 50 to 55 thousand dollar target, more precisely at 52.5. And um, so, you know, the day is not over. We still got about four more hours till spot closes, two more hours until CME closes. And I imagine whatever CME does, uh, spot price will do later in the day. And so what else do I want to bring up here? So on the daily time frame, um, yeah, that's basically it. You know, trend momentum and volatility. Um, we are still putting in a higher low than this low right here. But really, uh, we are in a downtrend. I mean, this is your first lower high. We got a lower low. And um, I would be on lower high watch um, anywhere around this region. Any kind of a lower high but besides this you know, 44.5 pivot, which is also probably right near the 618. That is where um, I'd be looking for those bull traps to come in. Uh, remember, some very bearish things have happened over the past few weeks when it comes technically wise. Uh, we had the monthly closure, which came in um, and just getting these charts off. Did we come in under the 21? Not quite, but this is typically a bearish candle and we could get a backfill all the way up to the nine exponential and that'd be completely normal. Um, in fact, you know, I imagine traditional markets are going to lead this rally or um, essentially in look very bearish monthly close getting a filled to the yellow 21. So could this be the kind of the buy of the dippers before the storm? Um, I'm not sure, but with all the uncertainty, you know, Powell did constantly talk about inflation is going to be higher. Inflation is going to be higher. Why the supply chain disruptions in China? Um, and he talked about um, the oil inflation because of the war, right? So inflation is going to be rampant. And, um, you know, right now they're doing what they said they're going to do. They're going to reanalyze the data next month when it comes to inflation. And so um, beyond the so on the daily time frame for NASDAQ, let's take a look here. And we did have our first, again, lower high and lower low. Actually, we had a lower high here, lower low. This is still a lower high. So it's, it's you know, a double pair of lower highs. That's a bearish sign. So where am I expecting bounces to come up to? Anywhere near this 618 here, which is coming in at 14,300. If we cannot get back above that pivot at 14,300, 
you know, I would be um, very, very cautious of what is to come in the coming months. And so that's traditional markets getting on back onto Bitcoin. So um, where are we looking for the potential bull trap coming in right here at 41,000? We had identified that tip or that uh, pivot yesterday and said any kind of a daily closure back above 41,000 very likely gets us a shot to the top side of that range at 43. And really the big the next big pivot above 41,000 is going to be 44.5. Um, so there's many days left in this month, many days to come. We'll be keeping a close eye on things. Um, at the moment, um, what else do I want to check in on? The dollar. So dollar is playing out. Uh, looks like the pullback we had been talking about. Uh, we said, hey, we could come up to 104, but you know, really any kind of a daily closure back below 102.68 very likely comes down to 101. And we did say with the dollar coming down, very likely Bitcoin puts in some sort of relief rally. Um, so the dollar targets to the downside. Um, let's just use a fib here. On a, yeah, so anywhere back below, call it 101. I'm looking for a move down to a minimum of 99 bucks. Um, but typically, um, this is your bouncy area somewhere around the 382 or the 0.5. Um, and, and can even be the 236 right here. But um, it does look like the dollar has put in a little bit of a high on the daily time frame. And do we have any divergences? Um, no, not incredibly until maybe back here. Yep, so that would give you a couple of drives of bearish divergence and um, or, or maybe our first drive of bearish divergence. Also notice volatility is maxed out. So the rise in this move is, you know, probably over for the short term. And as volatility declines, we'll expect price to come down and maybe get down to that green 55 over the next few days or weeks. Um, but yeah, if we start closing back above these highs, you know, it's breakout time. So watch out for the dollar ripping to the upside. Let's check in with ApeCoin, which, um, you know, definitely had a nice downside move yesterday and getting a bounce with the rest of the market. Here's what I could say on ApeCoin. If you go down to a four hour, we are playing out a little bit of hidden bullish divergence in the sense price is making, um, higher lows, right, in comparison to uh, lower lows in RSI. And typically, I don't know if I'd call this the three drive variety, but it looks like we are going to get a drive up to the green 55 as we just broke the 21, getting a little back test. And I imagine if Bitcoin does bounce up to some of those targets, this thing could easily uh, get a nice bounce you know, somewhere around 19 bucks. And I'd be looking for the uh, bull traps somewhere between 19 and 2230. If this thing wants to get going to the upside alongside Bitcoin. What other news that I hear today? CRO just cut their interest rates. Um, so a lot of people are upset about that. Um, Anything in the NFT space? Okay, there goes my mouse. Come on, there it goes, comes back. Coming back. And um, I mean, a short-term setup on Ape, I am watching here on the five minute. And it looks like we have a few drives of bearish divergence coming in from this point right here. Excuse me, this point right here. Yeah, this point right here, let's see. So that high right here, yep, this high right here. Excuse me, is it this high right here? Sometimes that bullish and bearish divergence will hide from you. So I know it's coming in. I just saw it here. I think it's from this pivot right here. So price is making higher. No, that doesn't look like divergence. Where, where is it coming from? There we go, from this point right here. 
So we got one, two, three highs, and on RSI, we got one, two, three lower highs, and I was looking for that move down to the green 55, um, starting from right here, actually, this closure right here, and uh, that would be a nice little 1% move, 2% <laughs> move. And so do I want to hop in on that trade? And there it goes. I already lost it. Huh. That would have been the buying opportunity back here by the dip. Anyways, uh, that's enough for ApeCoin. I'm going to take a look at Ethereum. Playing out a nice little bounce here, even on the five minute. But let's take a look on the four hour. And could this just be another lower high? So if we confirm this as a lower high, we will have our first drive of bearish divergence. Actually, yeah. So again, price is making a lower high while RSI is making a higher high. Usually the first test up in the bullish control zone is a sell. And usually the first test of the purple 200 is a sell. So getting a little pullback there, nice profit taking area. But what I would say is momentum is to the upside. Volatility is just taking up. And so if I was going to take a look at where a target would be on this formation, which it looks like we just broke it, I'd be looking at something like this on the four-hour time frame. Here's what, here's was our descending triangle. And uh, measure move on this guy is going to be, that's not quite 50%, but at a minimum, somewhere around 3000 bucks. If we can get above 3000 then we will avoid that bearish divergence. And I would look for a move to the top side of the range somewhere around 3,200. But again, back, back below this pivot right here at 2,700, uh, I think we are looking for a move down there. And probably over time, you know, we put in some kind of another lower high and um, it looks like the market, you know, is more bearishly set up unless NASDAQ wants to pick itself up and go back to the moon. Um, what else did I want to check in on today? Luna. Um, again, this is a brutal setup here, but uh, the last chance for Hopium here, we got a higher high and a higher low. So if we do get stopped out somewhere around the uh, 618 here, which is coming in right here at 90 bucks, so again, that is going to be a critical pivot four hour closure back above 90 bucks. And I would be looking for a retest of the top side of the range coming in at about 98. Okay. Um, Luna Ave. What's another Ave just came back almost. I mean, we took out these lows over here. Big question is, is this just a pity bounce or are we going to, um, really, you know, rock it back up to the moon. And I, I'd say it all depends upon Bitcoin, what Bitcoin does. And um, did we get, I mean, this is potentially another lower high in the making and that would not look good. So here's what I would be keeping an eye on. Any kind of a daily closure here today, we got the 12 hour confirmation above this pivot. Yeah, we can get a backfill back down to 39,000. As long as we don't come back and close dailies back below 39,000, I'm going to say, uh, you know, trend in progress and looks like we're going to head up to that green 55 at 41,000. Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe. We'll get all the future updates that we post. You'll get a notification as well as if you want to put Bitcoin or crypto in your retirement account, um, I will include a link in the description below. Thanks and have a blessed day.